Hello there, welcome to episode 18 of the Savage Lands Season 3. We are currently awaiting the new caravan for this year, and the ghostly diagnostician has risen to haunt the fortress. What a what a brilliant start for today's episode. So today I want to go deeper into the secrets of the old fortress praise lashes. I want to make sure that the new staircase is going to be fine. We opened up in the last episode the historical fortress praise lashes, and I figured that by now it would be pretty cool. And we are we are just currently seeing one monster after another. Although I gotta say this time this guy is a little bit less of a uh, of a threat than others. So. Let's see if the crystalline clutches are... What the hell? Unarmed. Yeah. So, it seems as if we don't have enough weapons in our fortress. That's what it seems like. So, let's change something about that by creating... Let's see. Do we have steel by now? 117 steel bars. Now, let's go. So we're going to craft ourselves some steel short swords, love those, and make sure that we got these available. So I don't feel so well about sending those guys anymore. Let's rather send the Bronze Mornings. They are experienced, well equipped, and well suited for the job. I'm going into this situation so hard because we have currently traders present. You know, there's civilians abroad. Oh boy. This guy is not even a, uh, a, a fighter. So... Oh, what an epic battle. The uh, hunter hit the uh, giant in the leg and, uh, and forced him to the ground already. Another shot hit the neck. Oh my gosh. <laughs> what a hero. Now the military comes around the corner to finish the job. But I gotta say, that Mox Dwarf, really a pretty, pretty powerful fighter. Okay, or else request, no, let's not request the broker. First, let's order stuff to be brought there. I don't know, I, I, I originally thought I'd sell, I'd be selling um, knickknacks once, but nowadays I went on over to sell prepared foods. <laughs> I, I gotta admit they are they are so easy to handle. You know, we just have to haul two items back there, and uh, we already have all the trade well uh, value up and running that we require. Personally, like that. What I personally dislike are hunter dwarfs, but uh, well, okay, we actually got none. So. That guy just happened to have a uh, a crossbow um, uh, armored up. Okay. I don't ask any further questions. I'm also waiting for the diplomacy screen to pop up. I am currently really hoping that Praise Lashes will be soon a barony. Because, you know, we really got everything we require for being barony. And uh, at this point, I came to the decision that this... Season 3 is uh, is a lot about building a prestigious fortress. Yo, dude, how long are you going to eat? Jeez. Broker takes forever until he's uh, going to go for the trade, but that's okay. So, let's see. I really hope that we only haven't had enough... Uh, Only haven't had enough, um, what's it called again? Sorry, those chaos disturbances. <laughs> haven't had enough, uh, weapons in our fortress. Now oh, I've finally recatched my train of thought. Damn birds! So, I'm stocking up pearl ash. I, I could by now produce, I think, quite a nice amount of clear glass blocks or something like that. Or clear glass windows. Haven't fully decided yet, but clear glass is a beautiful sight. So we don't need those plump helmets. I, I grow these myself, thanks. I rather want those things that we don't have in our native cuisine. 
Okay, we're going to trade that and we're going to gift away that. Here we go. Same old, same old. Alright, but looks as if the uh, birds are at least trapped inside. But at the same time, we really need to do something about them. They keep stealing our, uh, our loot. And here we had some combat happening with those. But seriously, why is there uh, no diplomacy happening? Well, alright. So, here, interrupted by Achaea. Damn. These creatures. So, we're going to do something about that now. Put up some ropes. There we go. They have to be in this uh, in, in this corridor here, so they don't disturb later the um, the wagons. They would be in the way of the wagons if I'd be slapping them down here or something like that. All right. There we go. But I gotta say, my dudes, they are pretty good at slap at slapping them birds. Obviously, it does work out quite well. But I figured that while we're at it, a diplomat could not complete a meeting and has left unhappy. So that is very, very. Weird. So, my only assumption is that the the birds are to blame because they they scare away people and make them interrupt their uh, their business. I bet that this is the problem. I bet that this is the problem. So, we really got to do something about that damn burp plague. So, we're going to bring up. War dogs. Yeah, here. There's uh, already stuff again suspended. How many of these creatures are there? Damn. Only one more, but they keep coming, as it seems. Okay, then. So... I'm gonna lock this entrance to the fortress now for good. Migrants! So all the birds that want to enter my fortress are going to be forced to enter there. Oh, okay, okay, never mind. It's not been about the birds. My mare has been possessed, and therefore the diplomat was like, all right, I, I'm gonna head off. You seem to be occupied, pal. That actually does make sense now. Sadly, it's a possession and not a uh, other circumstance. Other circumstances are better. Oh boy, I just uh, I just for a moment was like, hmm, I wonder what happened to the uh, magma pit down there. <laughs> Good thing that I double checked. Good thing that I double checked. You know, at some point they will create a proper pond out of that and nobody needs that alrighty but that does also mean we finally got our foot in the door down here damn that's cool so now let's continue here I wanted to check out if these things here worked out as intended by now so Okay. I don't know. I, I want to put a, in another door here. And... Doors. So we have one one proper... Um, one, one, one proper level in between. So, Mr. Mayor still racking up stuff there. Oh boy. Quite the valuables. 
Just double checking because I don't want to lose anybody again to artifact sadness. Happened to me way more often than I'd like it. Alrighty, so here goes. We're going to do put in another door here. So we got, you know, I do this more for the looks than anything else. But sometimes you gotta do things just for the looks themselves, so. Oh boy, you're so stupid. Alright, alright, I'll let you use that door. I'm sorry. They all abandoned their old pathing the moment I, this one was closed. Ironically enough, they, they abandoned it when they hit the door, the, the door with their face. It's so amusing to watch uh, those guys work the way they work, you know? It's really interesting to see the dwarven logic or, or the logic behind all the pathing there. Really interesting. So we're going to forbid those doors now and let's see if the constructions will still happen. Here, look at this. Boom. <laughs> so. Alright, this guy. The worst part is if they uh, stand in front of the door and bug there. This is what what can tank your FPS. I, I recently learned... Ah, well, let's, uh, let's let, let them be for a moment. I recently learned that when stuff like that happens and a dwarf wants to path through a forbidden door, that destroys your, uh, your, your FPS completely. A church ring. Okay. What a wonderful and not really useful item. So, what do we have here? It is, on the item is an image of a giant elephant in church, a image of a duck in yak bone, a image of a, mm, of melted blocked the donkey, leather armor. Alright. Yeah, I, I appreciate or something like that. It's not really of any bigger importance or interest what has uh, been plotted down there all right one wonderful thing i notice here is that the trap corridor does its job magnificently it's working out brilliant okay so i really hope that i i really don't understand oh 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 there's open space everywhere i see weird it's hard to discern open space here in this game I wish that open space could have a little bit of a more, how to put it, obvious demarcation because currently it's really hard to see that. A forgotten beast again. Hello there, feathered stack beetle. I gotta say, this place here is teeming with, with forgotten beasts. Probably, probably this was the real reason for Praise lashes to be abandoned. Maybe, maybe Ezra Berry Caves wasn't the first one of uh, of the Forgotten Beasts to come. Maybe it was just a steady assault that uh, made them go down. Well, nobody really knows why this place was destroyed. I personally find it rather um, well amusing to see what kind of uh, low effort, uh, what kind of low effort it took to destroy this fortress, but, you know, I don't want to judge here. Okay, so, let's complete this uh, staircase here, as far as we can, at least. Here we go. So, if these works, if these jobs get fulfilled, I have done my job properly. Had a bit of a uh, experiment as well to see if I have assigned any everything the way I wanted it to. All right, but let's get back downstairs here, huh? Okay, so we are finally in the adamantine business, my man. I am so happy to say that. So, still, let's see. We got. Well, actually, quite a nice support of green glass blocks by now. So, there's combat. I, I want to know what kind of combat. And we got to place down a few of these 
to know what goes on down below. Wait a sec here. Yeah, whatever. So, ah, yeah, all right, the Forgotten Beast. Yeah, the establishment, yeah. We were not able to establish the temple for the Creed of Tweeting. I am very, very, very sorry, yes, but uh, at the same time, it was not really possible. Okay, I want to continue my, my project here, and I figured that we need a another entrance to the historical um, city there. So let's see, I wanted to check on out if there's a cool place where we can do this. So this is the, the actual entrance for everybody. And we go downstairs here. Why did I take this leap here, actually? <laughs> Nobody knows. Well, let's see. I do have an entrance here now, but I, I feel as if this is not really good enough for my taste. So, where do we connect this baby to the rest of the fortress? Ah, hi there! A, a quadruped composed of snow. <laughs> Alright, give me a break second. Ah, oh, man. I, I really always want to complete things. Oh yeah, let's, let's do this here. I like the idea of that. So, we're going to put up a corridor inside the historical fortress here. To the inside of the... Uh, whatever and I'm going to make this a proper a proper thing so we're going to have a uh, kind of an exposition hall here probably uh, set up a few um, extra statues that were that come from the original fortress and then we open up here but we do make it like that and let's do this There we go, something like that. Just this part doesn't fit anymore then. Yeah, I, I invest here a little bit uh, of time into, in, into aesthetics, I admit. But you know, at the end of the day, this is sometimes what this game can be all about if you wanted to. There we go, that's better. Now we have a proper um, memorial hall. So, what about you, dude? Um, you are skulking around this depth. Um, this is actually... Yeah, so we got a monster made out of snow. Did it already leave, or is he still around? So, hard to tell, hard to tell. Could be still abroad, so I want to keep on. Uh, I want to keep an eye out here, but in all honesty, I I think there will be no real threat from that. Oh yeah, I feel so bad about the fact that I wasn't able to do the deal with uh, get the deal down with the creed of tweeting. So something about this floor is odd. Why are they not able to use the staircase accordingly anymore? Hmm. Makes me kind of wonder. So let's see, can I assign a mining job here and it gets picked up? No, it doesn't. So, it seems as if something here got broken. Probably because I destroyed the the wall there. I, I don't know. Just this. Uh, let's see. Let's bring that wall back up and see if that does anything. It could be that the ramp here is no longer operatable due to that. Ah, this is weird. This is really really weird because I don't really understand why the. Um, why my dudes are, are doing what they're doing, but... Well. Oh, look! We have uh, found another magma pocket. Nice. I really like it when my adamantine veins start like that. 
this is always so nice when uh, when you got an easy beginning like this. So it's about time we we can do our first little shenanigans here. So I can only assume that it'll take a while until we can really die delve in there and uh, grab some adamantine for real. But well. Doesn't really hurt to um, to be prepared, does it? All right. There we go. Man, they were fast. So. Kind of makes me wonder if this. Uh, wall here was needed or anything like that, but I really don't know. We'll see. Because I do know one thing. If a ramp is not sort of, is, is, is standing on its own and not attached to any wall, it becomes unusable. But that couldn't have been the case here either, because it's standing still right next to your wall. Uh, well, sometimes these things beats me. That's why I build my stuff not like that, dear AI. Your designs are questionable. But shouldn't be too surprised about that. So we got the Metalsmith's Guild Hall here. Well, we should probably staff it out a little bit, huh? Make it like look a little bit less dreary. A gold statue would be a nice thing here, eh? And the steel statue. And we cannot uh, we cannot skip the the wonderful statues of Ezraberry Caves, a local monster. So I also wanted to be bringing up here some some nice looking pathways and stuff. God, this place is dirty. Ah well. So we're going to floor this. You know, this is after all the museum area. So we're going to use only the finest orthoclase we got. Let's make it shiny. Because I picture dwarves as people that really care about their past, you know. So, here goes. I hope I have a few statues of Ezra Berry Caves left that I can uh, bring up in this area. I think it would be a pretty cool thing to have statues of the monster around that destroyed this place. Alright, look at the dwarf swarm go. Love this. There we go. Let's check out this place. We got to make sure that we are going to continue here. And there is a spot with open space. I just like these. There we go. Ah, and I can go for this one here. So in case you were wondering what the hell I was doing here, here is a hollow pocket and I will now carve uh, smooth and carve a fortification into this thing and then we can see what's inside there. And if it is a web spitting demon, then I can just slam door, uh, slam the door hit behind me and it will never be a problem for anybody. That's my personal go-to strategy with things like these. Because it can't be just too, too heavy to do it otherwise, you know. Nice, man. That's one of the beautiful things when a fortress has a certain age and success on its, uh, under its belt. Then uh, projects like these are ridiculously fast done. I like this. Alrighty. Basically, whatever ideas I got by now, 
planning them will be more work than actually realizing them most of the time. Alrighty, let's kill more trees. And bring up more creatures on the chains. Man, here, here it will be cool if I'd had a few beak dogs or something like that. Or more war dogs, generally. Well, we're merely breeding uh, water buffaloes. I really don't know. I, I highly doubt that water buffaloes will actually attack chaos. But what we probably can do... Oh yeah, I like the idea of that. Maybe that'll help. So, let's do a bit of an extra wall here. No, it can't be actually like that. Let's make it like that. So, the wagon needs to be able to reach the the trade depot without driving over traps and all. That's that's one thing, but nobody says anything about traps that are behind that thing. So here goes. So I I really hope that with this we will be come able to just uh, slice them apart before they before we need to care too much about them. There we go. And if anything, if if anything else, it'll be a brilliant way of, of slicing apart goblins and uh, stuff that wants to enter my base. We got really a damn lot of these babies there. So... Oh, this was actually supposed to be a one-timer. <laughs> oh, this was never a one-timer. We kept making those insanely, uh, ridiculously large um, axe thingies repeatedly. So I got to put up a floor on, to on top of that. So my hope here is a simple one that every Kea that's uh, skulking around here will eventually want to go for those juicy juicy other parts of the fortress and then they'll get just uh, sliced apart. Let's see if that does the trick, you know. Alright, it's time that we also think about stationing the or bringing the crystalline clutches to a to their first real fight, you know. And with that I don't mean uh, the, the chaos that I just want to Put on the ropes here to finally kill them. No, no, no. Way bigger plants. I was merely waiting for them to be powerful enough, but I think I'm going to save that for the next episode. Let's see. Are you grabbing weapons now, guys? Yeah, that looks well. It seems as if we haven't had enough uh, weapons for everybody here. Yeah, 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 yeah. That looks better. Okay, well then. I mean, this uh, this entire squad is regearing. Okay. Oh well. I just wanted to kill those birds, but now I can't because they're uh, all slapping up new gear here. These uh, tr d these dudes here, the the birds on the. On the chains, they are actually quite the liability. There we go. They can panic and attack people randomly. That's why we're going to take care of them and uh, put them away. So, that's my one tamed Kea. So, yeah, they're, uh, they're sorting their things out now. Okay, who would have thought? We are going to make then um, just another set of uh, steel, sh steel short swords then. Because, you know, you can never gear up yourself too hard. It's good to have a couple of replacement weapons. I can already um, c 
can I, I think it might have something to do with the uh, with the monster that we had there or garden beast you know that destroyed so much of my squad actually well by now it shouldn't be any problem anymore or it was it the the weapon traps i really wonder what uh, what messed up the the uh, equipment choices of my fellas like that but whatever might be the case it is time for today to say goodbye yet again I appreciate this, uh, the, appreciate, no, I enjoyed this episode, appreciate is the wrong word. Enjoyed myself here quite a lot, we, uh, I really like the fact that this fortress feels a lot better protected now, and also I, I really dig that, uh, that area here. Also very happy about uh, the progression here, I mean, we're, uh, we're, we're slowly getting ourselves into the area of being able to dig out more down here. Oh yeah, so before we go, let's go for that thing and see what it is. So I, I really thank everybody here again. I, I appreciate you guys watching this series a lot. And let's see what will happen next time. I will bring the Crystalline Clutches to raiding now and we'll do our best to take care of the threats in the environment and by now i i really came down with the decision that praise lashes is going to be a a new center of uh, culture and civilization whatever wherever that's going to be, uh, lead us yay we found a metal lash <laughs> okay everybody thanks for watching see you all next time and we are going to continue there and leave me a thumbs up, leave me a subscription if you'd want to. And of course, there is a playlist link down there leading to all the other episodes of the Savage Lands. See you guys next time. Have a good one.